Hello everybody, another video here for you today. This is the article that I did earlier today, a reaction to this one from Yahoo Finance. Out of touch, Dave Ramsey slams Philadelphia couple for paying 80K a year on childcare and some parents on TikTok now think Ramsey owes them apology. Are they right? That's a long article title. Uh, and that date is February 4th, 2024. So I checked the internet, and of course, there's another article on it. But this one's dated August 8, 2023. So apparently, it's an older, it was on an older Ramsey show. But I guess now maybe the highlight is making the rounds on the gram and or the TikTok. And so now it's a thing again. Um, and the article title here, also longer is uh, you guys have lost your minds. A caller called Dave Ramsey if, oh, a caller asked Dave Ramsey if he and his wife should borrow money. They make 180K a year, but spend 80K on the kids. This was the guru's scathing reply. So a lot of information was left out of the article that I did earlier. And I'm just wondering if they didn't know it or they left it out purposely so you would feel more empathy towards the caller and his wife. But what I was thinking while I was talking about it uh, was that, that, well, he called Dave Ramsey for a reason. And that's probably because he had a money problem. And so if you call Mr. Ramsey, you are going to get the truth, and so you should expect that. So, or anybody you call at any time, you should expect them to tell you the truth. Uh, but what they didn't say is that they wanted to know if they should borrow money. Let's see, is it a man named Dave from Philly told the finance guru on the Ramsey show that he was barely making it on a family income of $180,000. He was unsure whether to save more or take out a loan to make ends meet. More on that in a second. Uh, the family's household income is set to rise once wife finishes medical school. She was making 70 k as a resident at the time of the call and set to finish school with no student debt. Hopefully she has finished already since that was in August. It did not say how long she had to go. Uh, but of course, you always have to, all residents do not finish medical school, unfortunately. And so that could uh, be the problem. But uh, the reason they're not making it you know, I would hate to think there's some other bigger expense that they are still doing. I mean, they're probably, you know, they may not have a budget, who knows, and that would help. They may be spending money on all kinds of crazy stuff. But it says the caller revealed he and his wife spend around $80,000 solely on their kids. And that is for chest for childcare preschool, during school, after school, and also in the summers so that she can make 70000 and try to finish medical school, finish uh, 70000 as a resident, and he makes 110000 doing something that they don't specify in either article. So either way, they, they got a problem here. Obviously. So, and Dave said, I'm going to be as nice as I can. You guys have lost your minds. Yep. So, let's see. So, the average cost of child care in Philly is just above $17,000 per child. Slightly more in the suburbs, according to child care website Tutris. So, even if you give it, even if you up this to 20000 to make the math easier for me, they have three children, which I don't know if that's specified in this article or not. Uh, but three children times twenty is only sixty thousand, and you're paying twenty more thousand than that. So, and 
Dave, Dave, uh, it says, uh, it says in the article, we're going to take out student loans for the four year old Ramsey tees. That's what we're coming down to. And, and that's basically it. So, and in the article before I talked about, you can, you can do anything at a five star restaurant level, or you can do it at the McDonald's level. And so the McDonald's level still tastes pretty good and does get the job done. So it's not necessary to go to a five-star restaurant, especially not every day like these kids are doing. So let's see, budgeting can help. Let's see what else it says in here. Oh, what about Ramsey's option C? And so uh, as Ramsey suggested, income from other work can be, can countervail the dollar figure of a loan. Ramsey recommends staying away from loans in general um, like almost always, he won't yell at you for a mortgage, uh, a 15 year fixed, the pay with the payment being under his, uh, his guideline of 25%. Uh, there's another article I recently talked about, about that. People don't want to do that either. They don't want to restrict themselves from doing anything, no matter what the math says about them not making enough money. They don't care. They don't care. And that's not the the previous article about about um, that was uh, basically saying Gen Z doesn't want to take his advice. No, nobody wants to. Nobody wants to. Just a few of us weird people, including some weird Gen Zers. So that would be the only time to get a loan. Is that is that mortgage if it falls under his guidelines and also. You can get, if you're underwater on a car loan, you can get a $10,000 loan, for example, to pay the difference that you would owe. So you can sell the car and pay off a $20,000 loan. So you have, in essence, by doing that, removed $10,000 from your debt. And so that he will approve as well. Let's see, these days the side hustle can be as simple as renting out a room. I don't know that that's that simple. Or unused shed, a storage place, that's more more like it. Or even a parking space you might have but don't need. Yep, could be. When to consider a loan. Now this is this uh, person's article here, and we'll talk about that in a second. But when to consider a loan would be only in those two cases. When you're trying to get out of water, I'm trying to get out from under on an underwater car and it would get rid of a $20,000 loan to get a lesser loan because you're replacing a smaller loan, uh, you're replacing a bigger loan with a smaller loan. So let's see, follow these steps if you want. Okay, so we're done with the Ramsey stuff and now, see this is, she's an experienced personal finance writer and journalist. All right, and so I don't know if this is an ad right here, this Zoe Financial, yeah, sponsored. So, so right there. And so they want you to, they, they wrote this so they could get clicks, which is exactly why I'm talking about it as well. Because I think it might get some clicks as well. The first uh, the first one did pretty well. The, the second one I did today, or the first one I did on this today, not so good, but the Gen Z one uh, did pretty well. For me, but um, I mean, eighty thousand dollars, paying twenty thousand dollars more a year uh, on the five-star restaurant version of it than just going to like an Applebee's version of it. You can even upgrade from the McDonald's one, and you can still save twenty thousand dollars a year. I mean, it's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, I you know I don't know their their reasoning for it. Maybe they feel guilty because they're both not paying any attention to the kids during the day. They are both working, and so and again, it's not just the school day. It's also before school care, after school care, and during. So it's a lot of the day that they are not seeing either parent, and even in the summer, same thing. So. I, I understand wanting good things for your kids, uh, but not 
to go into debt for that, that's not going to help anything. And the problem with taking out a loan just to make ends meet chess for this short time until she becomes a doctor, again, all residents do not finish medical school. So you can't 100% count on that. And so then if that happens, and then you got that loan out to go along with his student loans that he has. So I think that's about all I have to say about this one, but I thought it was interesting getting, this is much more of a, of a, just the facts thing, except when they have the sponsored stuff right in the middle of it. Uh, and also the saying, when was that? When to get a loan. Where is that? Yeah, when to consider a loan. So I don't know if that part is sponsored or the part below it, follow these steps if you want to retire early, is, I mean, that has the the person, the company's name, Zoe Financial, right there. Uh, and I guess these links as well, Shop Around, a professional financial advisor, uh, Census Bureau. So I don't know which one or both of them is supposed to be the ad. I don't know, but other than, other than mentioning that when to consider a loan, and again, that would be never except in those two cases that I said. Uh, otherwise, that's not Mr. Ramsey's advice, uh, but he is a very well-known figure and he does get clicks and views and so forth. So I will leave that at that. And if something else comes up about that, maybe at a third article on it, we'll see how that goes. I am Coach Steve Money, and yes, I'm a Ramsey Solutions certified financial coach. And you can schedule a free financial coaching consultation slash assessment with me at calendly.com slash Coach Steve Money. I leave my ads to the end. Uh, that is a video conferencing appointment. So you can do that from anywhere in the world, even Philadelphia. You can email me about coaching or anything on my YouTube channel, CoachSteveMoney at gmail.com. Channel donations can go to paypal.me slash CoachSteveMoney. Alternatively, you can do Cash App at dollar sign CoachSteveMoney or Walmart gift card to CoachSteveMoney at gmail.com. You can add me on the gram at CoachSteveMoney. Of course, the YouTube channel is youtube.com slash CoachSteveMoney. Thank you so much for watching.